welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i thought i would vlog today just pick up the camera see where this video takes us I've got a couple of things planned in that i want to include within this vlog for instance an event a house event that's going to get festive so trigger warning for anyone that doesn't like christmas or doesn't want to see it too soon there's going to be a little sneak peek of christmas within this video not too much um and then what else have i got i've got a couple of bits to share with you fashion bits which i'm actually going to start the video with i've got an asos order and an abercrombie and fitch shop i actually went into store before i get started with the rest of the video though i do have a sponsor for today's video they've sent me a couple of new additions to if you don't know it's like a big company that we've got anchor products within our home it's the, there's such like a wide range of products much to tom's delight because he is a tech lover he's a gadget lover this first one that i wanted to share with you this power bank is really really good because well firstly the size of it and the look of it i just think it's a really nice design this one's like the mint green kind of color but they do have other colors available and it's got this foldable uh usb c connector so if you've got like a USB-C connector on your phone then it's just a really handy on the go charger to have if you don't have a USB-C charger they do have a little connector here which you can have a wire to connect to your phone it's ultra compact high speed technology an eco-friendly design as well they use PCR materials and um, paper packaging to reduce waste as well it's called the Anker Nano Power Bank it's 22.5 watts they also do other power banks chargers a USB-C cables ranging in different designs and sort of like sizes and then we also have this one which again comes in a couple of colors they've got like a black one a blue one i've just flipped the camera so that i can focus on the product a bit better so you can see it more close up but yeah this charger it's got the really nice ridge design on the edge and then the foldable connector so that you can um have it for ease for when traveling go. so yeah nice and compact design the satisfying click shut usb-c charger connector you can see on there as well it's got the power iq 3.0 technology it just means essentially it's super fast works really really well which just connects there so you can charge all your apple handheld devices your laptops your phones tablets and then this beauty is probably the one that i've got the most use out of so far this is the anchor nano power bank 30 watt built-in usb-c cable it's lightweight compact just to kind of put into perspective the power on this this power bank can charge an iphone 15 to 50 percent in 30 minutes and it can be fully recharged in just an hour and a half which is perfect really if you just want a quick getaway it's got um like an led display as well so you can see how much battery is in there so you see it's 23 percent at the moment they do other colors as well they've got the mint green black um white this gorgeous blue and along with many other products um as well so if you want to check out anchor nano products i will leave a link to them in the description box be sure to check them out thank you to them for sponsoring this part of today's video without further ado i'm going to share with you some fashion finds some recent fashion finds if you remember i went into um well i actually shopped online um abercrombie fitch i showed some jeans recently i decided to take them back just because I wasn't 100% set on them. It was more the length I was saying to you guys that I think I needed the short version. Um, and I went into store and they didn't have any of the Curve Love shorts in my size. Um, so I'll keep an eye out online for those. And also they went up to full price again. And I got them in the sale, so it was a bit like, oh, I don't want to pay full price for them when I know that in time, I hopefully will be able to get them in the sale. But anyway, as I did go into store to return those, I spotted some other bits in the menswear, actually. I can't remember if this is in the men's or women's, but it's essentially this um, like very American style graphic jumper with this like design on that just says, what does it say? Smoky Mountains, Tennessee, North Carolina. I have been to North Carolina. We used to live in Virginia, so that was just north of North Carolina. This is in an XL. Again, it says oversized on there, but I do think an XL for me works well. And it was £60. I did get a discount though because i'm a abercrombie and fitch member there was some kind of offer and i can't remember what it was but i did get some money off but these are just the coziest i'll show you the inside you'll see what i mean when i show you this look how fleecy and super soft that is on the inside these were just leggings are just like honestly my everyday attire so i've got this one this one was in the sale it was yellow ticketed so i think that was 
an additional 30% off the lowest marked price. So this originally retailed for £60. It's in a large and it's like an oatmeal quarter zip. It's again got that really super soft fleecy lining. And then again in grey. And this again was in the sale. This time just a plain one. This one is in a small because it was in the sale. It's the only size they had. But again it has that super soft liner. And again this one had the 30% off and it retailed for £60. Then I also popped an order in with ASOS. And there's actually quite a few things in here so I'll whisk through them. But I wanted to have a bit of a at some point like wardrobe switch over whereby any kind of like old jumpers knits that I no longer like or think I'll wear to just donate any kind of summer bits to pop away so I thought I would get ahead and stock up my capsule wardrobe for autumn winter 23 and I'm going to start with these these were the first thing that I went to the website to pop in my basket I just feel like these are going to be a classic I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them I love a faux leather pant in winter especially and again Abercrombie is so good for them um, but Topshop is also really good they used to do those cult classic leather look leggings which I still own they brought out these trousers nice and high-waisted and I love the color of them these are like a deep forest green I like wearing these quite casually to be honest with you with just like a basic white tee and some trainers I have ordered some new trainers which I'll probably show in my next vlog because they probably won't arrive in time for this video but I'll show you those when they arrive you could put heels with them to dress them up I got in a UK 10 I got a couple of sets this first one is actually a three-piece co-ord and I definitely think with all of these three items they can easily be mix and match these ones are Topshop as well so the top is a shirt it's in this really dark grey which I don't really have much of this colour I'll see how it suits my skin tone I'm just looking at it now wondering is it maybe a bit too harsh for my skin because I feel like my winter skin is here aka my pale skin that <laughs> hasn't seen much sun this summer because we've had a wet one but then when it's been hot it's been too hot for me to sit out in so anyway nice gray oversized shirt with pockets that's in a 12 but then they also do this oversized blazer it's quite a thin lightweight one this is a 10 and i would say it looks already quite oversized but the bottoms are in a uk 10 again nice and high waisted kind of giving school class vibes I did get what i feel is a classic item to buy for autumn winter and that is a checked shirt it's from dr denim so dr denim isn't like the cheapest range on asos but i thought for a good staple classic like this in my kind of tones the cream and the brown i thought that could be really nice what size did i get that in an xl this next cover that i got is again top shop and in a uk 10 i got the bottoms very similar if not the same as those grey ones. The matching top is like a shirt. I do actually think this is the same, but I didn't get the blazer to this one. And I think I prefer this colour as well, actually. See which ones I end up keeping. This one's more cosy colored and it's these trousers. These are from ASOS Design. The trousers I got in a UK 10, a stretchy waistband with this top, which just has the two big oversized pocket details, the quarter zip, and I quite like the fact that the zip is in the same colour. That already looks quite oversized, I would say, for a size 10. And then the last colour that I got, Stradivarius. Oh, this feels very slinky. I've got the bottom in, which is like a skirt, in a medium. I thought this could be a good classic midi, midaxi black skirt to pair with like cosy jumpers and stuff. But then it also had their matching top to go with it, which is just like a little bandeau. And again, this bandeau I was thinking could just be worn with like high waisted jeans, like decolletage out, heels on for like cocktails or whatever. But then blazer thrown over the shoulder for as we move into autumn and winter. The top is in a medium. Getting there now, we're getting ready to have a big kind of wardrobe switch over at some point, which I need to just kind of crack on with, to be honest with you. But yeah, I feel like for the rest of this afternoon, I am going to get a bit of work done, a bit of editing, get up to date with my, 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 my emails. And then I will take you along with me to the event tonight at Housing Units. But they basically give us all a sneak peek to their Christmas stock. And yeah, it's kind of hot. So I feel like I might just go in like a nice dress, slick back my hair. We'll see what we end up getting up to. 
I have just received the most beautiful PR package. So, so pretty. So I thought I would just share with you guys. QVC UK are excited to announce the launch of Love More by Motsi Mabuse, who's, um, I'm so sure Strictly fans will know. But she has her own range of skincare that she's very kindly sent over. We've got face cleanser, serum, day cream, dry oil, eye cream, and night cream. I was after a new day cream, actually, so I'm going to give this a try. But how beautiful, strictly themed, I can tell. I just pop them on the island for now because I think they are beautiful. Anyway, I also just came home to this pr package as well from neom milk it make bath times at work way harder so they've got a new range of magnesium bath milk which sounds right up my street for the cozy nights and they've sent me this one the perfect night sleep scent which they've also sent in the candle and the pillow mist it has english lavender chamomile and patchouli and they've also got the real luxury one which is lavender jasmine and sandalwood and then last but not least we also had brochure delivery um the furniture and home accessories from the white company auto winter 23 i have my eyes on this sofa in the natural color is it in here oh, yes look at that oh my god look at that whole scene gorgeous i was thinking for our front room where we've still got to pick a sofa from that black room um yeah and then this also look they've changed the brochures that they do so autumn 2023 the thread they've called it and it's obviously <laughs> gorgeous but it doesn't go with my white um white company brochures which i collect that's the only thing but yeah i just had a flick through of this let's see if i've got another image oh look autumn tablescape with little pumpkins felt pumpkins little acorns love it wild foliage they've also got this limited edition range which i saw in store as well actually i thought it was quite good value for money considering it's white company but this is quite big and it was 70 pounds but um on oh, that one's only 50 crafted in etched iron whitewashed terracotta pinched stoneware our new range of textured collectibles is hand finished so each piece is unique so i thought that was quite interesting they were getting just like a random limited edition selection of look there's that image again of um like terracotta pots and things wow look at that terracotta pot I was like, what is that noise? It's the tram that's just passed behind me. Anyway, I have just made it to the housing units event. I only went to, I went to this event two years ago and they basically showcased the new Christmas range that they've got here. So I think they're doing that the same again this time. Um, but I missed out on it last year. So I don't know if it's going to be any different. It's been a while since I've been here. So I'm going to nervously head on in by myself oh got my zara dress on this is like the worst outfit of the day my little ysl lulu bag and let's head on inside last time i came as well i came with tom you, can you hear the tram i came with tom um because you can have a plus one but if it's anything like the last event he's probably not that bothered and it hopefully gives me a chance if i'm here by myself to meet some other influencers but
even though I'm not really doing that much today and I am at home, I just thought I would show you my outfit because I'm really in love with this dress, especially for these warm September days we've been having. Um, I just really like the pleat, the pockets. It's, it is slightly, well, it's like double layered. So it is thicker than like, I don't know. I, I feel like on the slightly cooler days, I'm comfortable in this rather than the stifling hot 30 degree plus weather. Uh, but yeah, super floaty flow. It's from Next. Uh, but yeah, I had to share it with you because I just really, really like it. And then also for my hair today, my roots are due to be done. And I just, even when I style my hair and my roots need doing, it just, I feel like it looks a little bit greasy, I think, because it's darker. And rather than me faff and keep playing with it, I thought I'm just going to pop a little clip in it just to keep keep the front part clipped up um, and yeah that's how that looks so we hosted yesterday and this is the chaos of the kitchen <laughs> it's pretty manic i've just been running around this morning and um yeah sorting stuff out we did load up both dishwashers last night because tom cooked glorious food but a lot of it so both dishwashers are ready to be emptied and then the rest of the pots I'm going to refill the dishwasher or anything I need to hand wash, hand wash them and pop them away. But yeah, that is how the kitchen's looking. Tom's also had a bit of a try on session with some new clothes that he's been ordering. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to pop all of these bits away. I also had, whilst we're hosting, because the weather was really nice, we sat outside and I always bring out cushions and throws and stuff to sit on those chairs. Tom got this little barbecue from Aldi although we didn't actually use that yesterday we used the Gosney again so it's time to crack on and get all of this space nice and tidy of course visited our favorite bakery as well La Chiquette so you guys know I talk about them all the time I just love them as well as washing some of those throws that and cushion covers yesterday I also just popped the table runner that we usually have on this table and also I've got a tablecloth that I pop on here for when we're hosting. It's just from H&M. Before I make a start on tidying up the kitchen, I thought I'd just sit down and share with you, firstly, the goodie bag that we got from the housing units event. So it's actually a couple of days later now. It was a lovely event. I felt like an absolute lemon sat by myself for a while because it was a homeware event that I have been to before and they allow plus ones and I remember last time I took Tom but I didn't really like chat to anyone else because I had Tom with me and he wasn't that plus for coming this time so I thought I'll go by myself and because everyone can bring a plus one I felt like everyone had people that they were sat with chatting with and I was just like I didn't want to go to a group that I thought I, I don't know it's almost easier to meet people at events when you're not allowed to bring a plus one so yeah it was a lovely event nonetheless and then i did bump into ellie friend on interiors if you follow her she's amazing she's a home sense queen and so yeah if you're a home sense lover follow her ellie is lovely she came up to me and we said hello and spoke and then i went over to um, a group of friends of hers and met them so it, overall it was a lovely event but yeah this is a little goodie bag that we got to take home with us we got you might have seen a little cracker so I thought we could open the cracker and see what's inside. I'm guessing some kind of like, well, we'll see. I was gonna say voucher of some kind, for like a hot drink at the cafe or something, but we'll see. Oh, sorry, Barney. He did not like that. He's all right. Was that scary? Might get used to that because we might be hosting this year for Christmas, which is very exciting. Um, but yeah, anyway, it is a afternoon tea so yeah afternoon tea we need to go ahead and use that at some point um but yeah thank you again to housing units for having us and for putting on a lovely event it was nice to see all the christmas stuff um and then inside this goodie bag they've gifted us some a uh, bit of a random selection so i'll just share share them with you little glass mug with a mulled wine kit no i'm not a big drinker i do love a mulled wine at christmas time this sounds nice in Enchanted Forest, we've got a mini reed diffuser. A on trend for this time of the year, little hand towel. Might pop that in downstairs low when the green one's in the wash. And then a little bauble, again, from the Christmas range. And then we've got this little hand cream. And then like a little brochure of some of their like new inbits, which we'll have a little flick through. And whilst I've, oh, I've got an itchy foot, I've been bitten. I feel like it's the time of the year that because it's been warm, we've been doing dog walks and things like along the canal where there's 
Molsinas and stuff. I feel like Tom and I both actually have a few bites from doing that and it's so annoying because I feel like Molsinas must just love me. I also got this Amazon delivery yesterday and I had to share it with you because I thought some of you might be interested in having a little review of this. So this is going to be a book that I want to start at some point soon. I do have um, a couple of books on like an autumn wish list. I might even do like an autumn wish list video maybe in the next one or coming soon of like things that I um, have my eyes on for this season, bucket list ideas that I want to do for autumn. And um, yes, yeah, so I've got a couple of books that I do want to read first, but this I thought would be really interesting. The Stephen Bartlett's Diary of a CEO. I love his podcast. So this is his book, The 33 Laws of Business and Life. I'll leave the link to this one because I got it at half price. And then also yesterday, a little PR package from Bobby Brown. Gloss for a cause. This Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Oh, they've included this, which is a Powerful Pink's Crushed Oil Infused Gloss Duo in Slow Jam and In The Buff. They're the two shades that are in there. They will donate the full RRP minus about for each crushed oil infused gloss duo sold in the UK to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. That is lovely. I love it when beauty companies give back like that. I've got a really exciting bag of goodies here. It's from m and and those of you that follow me on TikTok will have already seen this bag of goodies. Bargain, bargain goodies. I wasn't sure whether a not to include it within this um, vlog because it won't be live anymore. It won't be a thing anymore. So I know those of you that don't follow me on TikTok will probably be frustrated at this. To be honest with you, I'm frustrated with myself because I went later than I should have. But I saw online that M&S were doing this hugely like discounted items, like really random items throughout the store. They're red ticket prices from like 7p I saw items of food from. Um, so that most of them were like 7p, 15p, 23p. Loads of them when I went had already gone and I was gutted. I was like, I should have gone when I saw it earlier. So I waited for a full day before going and I should have just gone. I was kicking myself. But I still managed to get some of the bargains that were there. Worth checking if you go to m and anyway, maybe just look out for any red labels. It's the sort of thing that I think a lot of people were even buying stuff to just donate to the food bank. The idea behind it is that they were clearing rooms ready for their Christmas stock coming into stores. I want to say soon, but actually I already saw Christmas food out. So like all the picky bits, like the nibbles, the crisps, the snacks, that kind of thing. I saw quite a lot of festive things out already, which is very exciting, but very early. I just unclip my hair for a second there, but anyway. For 17p, I got this Chipotle mayonnaise. 15p, I got this seafood sauce. For 19p, I got a horseradish sauce. Can't find the price of this one. I think it was around 30p. The chocolate cake mix, so like an easy bake. Piccolo organic. So these are actually from the kids section. They're essentially just organic, small portioned little meals. They were only 27p each. Pea and courgette risotto and a tomato and basil risotto. I got this um, basil pesto. This one was reduced down to £1.65, so not quite as good of a saving, but still good nonetheless. These salt and vinegar flavoured peanuts. I got two packs of these because these were only 37p. Charcoal sourdough crackers. These were reduced down to 68p. Spaghetti was reduced to 56p. I got two of these actually. These blue confetti balloons. I see on the top there. These usually retail for £2.50 each. They were reduced down to 25p. This one is normally £5. It's a little happy birthday bunting in navy. That was reduced down to 50p. Oh, and then last but not least, I've got these because we really like having these in for they're basically bake at home so they're actually really fresh the bread that you can get they were reduced down to 80p see that's like my mini m&s bargain haul just had the washing machine go so i might just pop that other throw and cushion covers in so that they're at least getting washed whilst i'm doing all the other tidying up Find your way to higher ground. 
may you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point makes a world of difference. So you make me strong. from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong You're the first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong don't know if you can hear that or not but it's just started raining and we are due thunderstorms as well which is really exciting because I love can you feel the wind going up there Ooh. I love having these doors open when there's a thunderstorm Hi, can I please get a tall pumpkin cream cold brew, but decaf, please? Uh, we can't do the cold brew decaf. Uh, can you Sorry. do? No, that's right. Um, can you do the iced pumpkin spice latte? Yeah, we can do that decaf. Yeah, thank you. Um, that's it. Thank you. Thanks. Can't do the cold brew decaf. It is decaf, it just doesn't say it on it. Okay, perfect, thank you. Oh, it's just started raining. Although it is still quite warm out here, so I've gone for an iced drink today. I was gonna go for the cold brew, but I don't do it decaf. It's a bit too late in the day to try it, even though it's caffeinated, so I went with an iced pumpkin spice latte. It's just, you can't compare it to an original PSL, can you? With the whipped cream and the warm, cozy drink. But anyway, it's very orange. Oh, I forgot to get you a puppuccino. I'm so sorry. She threw me with saying the cold brew wasn't available. Anyway, I'll give you some whipped cream when we get home. Mm. I'm getting all the ice. This makes your tongue turn orange. Delish. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. PSL is a 10 out of 10. A hot, cosy. Anyway, I've decided for a little bit of a break in the house and coming out. I've just popped on a different shirt and basically going to pop out the house 
um take the dog for a walk i'm gonna go to a place called in situ just have a quick look around just something to do um so i'll include some clips of what they've got in it's basically if you've never been before and you're manchester based and you love the kind of thrift well not thrifting i would say it's like antique it's not cheap i'll be honest but it's always worth a good look around it's one of those places as well that you have a good rummage whilst you're there um because there's just lots of things you can walk around twice and see different things each time my favorite kind of place like that local to like manchester is the vintage emporium in stockport but we're going to in situ today i've not been there in a long time so we're going to have a quick look there whilst enjoying my psl iced and then we're gonna just have a quick dog walk before heading back he always rests his head like that it's so cute so cute I wake up from the sunshine on my face So dehydrated, don't know what to say Who's sleeping by my side? What did I do last night? Can someone make this headache go away? Yesterday was supposed to be quiet Being to myself and sit in silence Until I got a call My friend showed up at my door They wanted me to go out for a while We were dancing in the dark <sighs> Just been doing some trying clips from earlier whereby I showed you the new in bits that I got from Abercrombie, including this jumper and some ASOS bits. Um, I thought I would do, I need to sneeze. <laughs> Compose. So, I saw on Zoe Sugg's vlog, uh, when she was doing, her and Alfie were doing like vloggers, and they were doing some vlogs throughout August. She did like a, um, during one of those videos, like a bit of a fragrance collection, see what's in my fragrance drawer section area. And I found it really interesting. So I thought I might include the same. So feel free to skip this if it's not for you. But I just thought I would share with you some of my favorite fragrances and kind of what's in my fragrance drawer. So I have been advised and told and read on the internet that Keeping your fragrances in direct sunlight is not good for them. And there's nowhere really that I would particularly be able to store my fragrances that are not in the sunlight. So I actually keep mine in a drawer. Said drawer is full to the brim. By no means neat and organized. Well, it's kind of organized, but not neat. <laughs> but it is full to the brim. So this is the drawer that I keep all my fragrances in. And um, as you can tell, I have quite a lot of Jo Malone. So Jo Malone very kindly invites to events and stuff all the time. He gets spoiled with Jo Malone. And I've been able to try quite the collection of Jo Malone fragrances. My all time favorite Jo Malone fragrance is the black ones are like more intense. This is the Clone Intense. And this is in Mare and Tonka. I'm gonna spritz a little bit on now. It's the most warm, rich, deep oh, scent ever. Good for him or her. I think all the Jo Malone fragrances in theory are like unisex. There are some that are a bit more floral or something that like say Tom wouldn't wear well, to be honest I wouldn't wear and I also have a little and large of this this is my, probably my favorite fragrance for the rest of the year the Meron Tonka is nice for evenings and for winter and then Basil and Neroli is great for spring summer this is the latest which you'll have seen in a vlog recently that we went to an event to celebrate the English pear and sweet pea pomegranate noir absolute classic this is also nice for autumn english oak and hazelnut that woody kind of rich scent this one is good all year round but it is definitely a warmer scent mimosa and cardamom was based off of like the souk markets in marrakesh and yeah again it's very warm so i do also have one other cologne intense this one is in bronze wood and leather and then this is probably my least favorite germano fragrance that i have i got it last year not so much because of the scent, but that I just find it's not that strong. It doesn't last as long as the others. So this one is in 
Starlet's Mandarin and Honey. So this is one that is lovely for Christmas Day at home where you can refresh and re-spritz re a few times throughout the day. I do also have this from Jo Malone, which in the classic English pan freesia. This is actually a hair mist. And then I also have another hair fragrance and this one is from Thamine or Tamine, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but this is in the scent Carved Oud and this is one of those fragrances or brands of fragrances that Tom and I both love, have purchased before, have worked with them before. But yeah, that is lovely to layer up with their Carved Oud scent. So these are like oil based. So these do really last a long time and that because of that oil base, they literally like linger on your clothes. I love them. I swear you can put your clothes through a wash and you can still smell the meat on your on your uh, clothes afterwards. Anyway, and then one other thamine I've got down here, otherwise Tom has the others upstairs. This one is in Regent Leather. It's one of these like um, limited edition bottles. I think it's something to do with James Bond. Jo Malone sold the business and went and did her own Jo Loves. I have Pomelo, the classic, nice and fruity for the summer. And then this one, I love the scent of this one. I hate the bottle. <laughs> I just feel like it doesn't look nice. They did it like a limited edition. It's like purple splattered paint. And I just, I think they could have done better with the bottle. Uh, but anyway, this is in Ebony and Cassis and it's, oh, honestly love it. I just wish the bottle was not, even just if it was one of their classic bottles. This was an event that I went to to celebrate the launch of a new stand at Trafford Centre from Maison. Francis Kersian. This is a newer fragrance of theirs in Aquamedia and it's lovely and light. I've been wearing that pretty much all summer. This one's a special bottle as well because they did engrave it with Freya on the back. Dialect Fragrances. This is one of my favourites, the Amber Infusion. They do quite a lot of like designer dupe scents. So check out Dialect if you want like a budget alternative to a hair and fragrance. This one's quite affordable as well and this one evokes a lot of memories for me. I took this Bjorkenberry's White Forest Eau de Parfum to Finland when we went on our Finland trip. As soon as I smell this I'm taken back to that like little log cabin that we stayed in the middle of like a Finland magical magical place we're only talking about it this morning actually how it was just such a magical trip replica fragrances i have by the fireplace which is again another favorite of mine but i just wear this autumn winter as well loved that one and i do actually have a spare backup because i love it that much and then i do also have this one which i don't reach for that often to be honest with you it's in the scent beach walk it's probably sunkissed or since it's probably I do like I do like it actually I probably should reach for it more I think I just for spring and summer there are others that I would choose over that one Aqua de Palma brand is yet again another favorite in terms of their scents evoking a memory my first Aqua de Palma fragrance Tom bought me I don't have it anymore but it was one of the classic blue bottles Tom actually bought it to me when that I had like, I was in the hospital for like a kidney infection. They wouldn't let me go for like four days because they couldn't get my temperature down. And I just, I felt okay. I mean, I felt pretty horrendous when I went into A&A thinking that I'm in pain. This is like when, a couple of years after we first started dating, I had pains and I was like, oh, it feels like more than like a UTI this, it feels more. And I went to the doctors and they said, if you get a temperature or get the shivers, go to A&E. And I was like, oh, that's a bit dramatic, but okay. Got the shivers, got the temperature that night and Tom just took me to A&E and I thought, well, I'm gonna go off doctor's orders. Went in and they sort of like, did you check in? They checked your temperature and pulse and mine were like through the roof. I was at about 40 degree temperature and my pulse was quite high. So, um, they said, we need to get you in a bed, we need to get you on an IV straight away to bring your temperature down. And it all felt very dramatic. I was on the antibiotics for the kidney infection and yeah, it just, it was painful like in my back, but it wasn't agony, it was uncomfortable, but I was just like, what is that? But I couldn't get comfy for like a few days until the shivers started and then were like, yeah, just get you on these antibiotics. And they kept on monitoring me and doing blood tests for like three days, four days and then eventually let me out. But during that time, Tom came and visited me every day, bless him, and one of the days he gave me, he was like, I bought you a perfume. And yeah, so that's kind of like, 
I know it's like a bad memory, but it's also special because like Tom coming to see me every day just meant a lot at that time. Because we were such early days, I was like, right, you've really seen me at my worst now. My last three fragrances are all Tom Ford. This one is the White Patchouli, a bit too feminine for me. It's still nice, but again, like in summer, I'd probably reach for that more. And then these two I love, especially this one, the Ombre Leather and also Noir. Again, very manly. Tom and I would share these. Oh, yeah, it's good. But they are actually, oh, yeah, oh, God, it's so good. Of all my fragrances, these are probably my most manly. I know I like to wear manly, manly fragrances. Do you know what I also want to get? I want to get another Abercrombie Fierce Cologne. Their men's Fierce Cologne, just the classic original one. Absolute, oh, fave. That takes me back to living in America when we used to go shopping to Abercrombie & Fitch before it was even a thing in the UK. So anyway, I'm gonna round up my top three. 100% number one is my replica by the fireplace. Love, love, love. Smoky, woody, fire, oh, amazing. However, even though it's my number one, I don't wear it all year round. I think I also really like it as my number one is because when I start to wear it, I feel like I've laid up a lot of fragrances here now. Oh my God, it's so good. This is my number, number one. Love, 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 love this. Yeah, I think I also think each time I start wearing this, I'm like, it's autumn, autumn's here, start with my favorite season. So I'll start wearing that now as it starts to get cooler. That's when I reach for that and I, as you can tell, get through it. Where do I go to next? I think I will have to say my Jo Malone Marin Tonka is also up there with one of my faves. The only thing, I've had a couple of occasions where because I reach for this in an evening, that usually is like going out for dinner or going to an event and stuff like that, whereby for those sort of occasions, I tend to get a bit anxious and a bit like, oh, like I don't know. If you suffer with anxiety, you'll know what I mean. And because I reach for this fragrance for like a night out or whatever, then it just kind of, there's just a couple of times when I spritz it and I think, oh, I'm nervous. And it's, what do they call it? It's a conditioned effect, I think it's called, whereby you kind of evoke something, a situation with a scent. However, I still absolutely love this and it is still my number two. But what I tend to do is I just spritz it more on other occasions so I don't just associate it with just going out and just going out for dinner and like evening and late nights and partying, which is just not me. Number three, I want to do a non Jo Malone. But I think I'm gonna have to do a Jo Malone. <laughs> Mimosa and cardamom. Again, all year round I would wear this, but it's still really warm and spicy. I can't spritz another one on me. Yeah. Yeah, there are some goodies though that I'm looking at. I'll do top five. Basil and Neroli is another classic. And then I would say, for memories, this one. Oh, I can't pick. But I also love the Thamine as well. And that together as a nice little combo. And they're my top perfumes. I'm not gonna say any more because I could just keep on going. But anyway, yeah, I thought that would be fun to share. Perhaps for some of you who also love fragrances, I just, it's one of my favorite passions, a good perfume. Um, but yeah, I'm actually gonna finish off the vlog here today, I think. I will probably pick up again a new vlog, maybe tomorrow um, for next week. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video nonetheless. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Thumbs up if you have subscribed for more. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Do let me know any like kind of content that you want throughout autumn, things that you like to see on my channel within vlogs. Um, yeah, let me know, give me ideas. Um, but yeah, otherwise have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys.